Hey guys, Dr. Heimlich here. And um, why don't more doctors check for your antibody levels for your thyroid to check to see if you have Hashimoto's thyroiditis? Well, there's a couple different reasons, but let's first talk about Hashimoto's thyroiditis because patients are still coming into me and have no idea what this is. Basically what it is, it's a problem where you end up having hypothyroid symptoms. And many times when you get diagnosed with that, then you start taking medication for it, but your symptoms don't go away. And your labs may even look normal, but you still feel cruddy. Now, why is that? Well, it's because the body has lost its ability to tell friend or foe. It doesn't know what tissues are itself or what are foreign tissues. So what happens is it attacks itself. It attacks the thyroid gland itself. It also tends to attack the cerebellum. It can attack down into your pancreas and your intestines and guts. It's a pretty ugly and serious situation. So why don't doctors test for it? Well, number one is the treatment protocol for that, the regular medical treatment protocol, is the same if you have Hashimoto's or if what they consider to be primary hypothyroidism, which means that we give you some thyroid medications, and then based on what your TSH level does, we will change those medications around based on what that happens, not necessarily even how you feel. Uh, the second reason is, is sometimes uh, insurance companies consider this to be medical waste. Now, why would you if your insurance company want to pay for a test, if you know that after the test is done, the doctor isn't going to change anything anyway. He's not going to change the protocol. Well, that is kind of a waste. I agree with it. There, there's no reason to do it if you're not going to treat it any differently. Of course, in our office, we take a much different approach. We, uh, we think that you should treat it differently and try to calm down and modulate the immune system. Um, but those are the two main reasons why, why, do why doctors don't um, test for uh, the autoimmune uh, antibodies for your thyroid. But it's critical to know that if you do have it and you do have Hashimoto's, then you really need to make sure that you take a look at your immune system. Have a doctor take a look that understands what we're talking about. Take a look and see what's going on with that immune system to modulate it because your immune system is attacking your thyroid. 24-7 is attacking that thing and is trying to destroy it. Like I said, there's other tissues involved. A lot of times the cerebellum, which is a part of the brain, your pancreas, which has to do with blood sugar, cholesterol, and your intestines has to do with, hey, maybe you've been um, chasing around and you're like, man, I've got no energy. So I went to the doc and he started giving me B12 shots. I had my B12 checked and uh, it's through the roof, but I still have my symptoms. Why is that? Well, maybe you have some problems with absorbing in the gut because the gut is being attacked by your immune system. So there's just a ton of things that can just unravel with what's going on here whenever you have an autoimmune condition. So the most important thing is to find somebody who knows what we're talking about and get your immune system modulated. Calm down that attack on the thyroid. That way, it gives you a great chance of getting yourself to feel normal again and feel healthy, to not have the fatigue and uh, the night sweats and the hair falling out and the weight gain and the depression and all the other things that go on with that. So do yourself a favor. Get yourself checked out for those antibodies. Find a doctor who knows what we talked about. I'm Dr. Heimlich. Have a good day.